three. Welcome back to CKO Trainer, folks. My name's Alex Santos, personal trainer. For all you maniacs who have the heavy bag hooked up at the house, you got the downloads, you got the DVDs, you got your weighted gloves. Now we're gonna add one more tool to your game. I know you're looking to pick your intensity level up on an almost exponential basis. It's gonna be a quick, quick tool to absolutely intensify your workout times 10. It's gonna be a weighted vest. My weighted vest of choice right now is the Mir weighted vest. The quality construction design does not shift around. It absolutely secures to the body securely so that you can focus on working out and you don't worry about the tools that you're strapping to yourself breaking down. All I wanna do now is start to add the intensity to your calisthenics, to your bag work, to your cardio. This is a quick tool. All you have to do is put it on. It can be the equivalent of you know, a 20 pounds or this could be the equivalent of a small child carrying it right on your back. You're gonna increase your shoulder stamina. You're gonna focus on that technique when you're hitting that heavy bag now, folks. You're going to take your shoulders away from the game and bring it right back to day one, which is your technique. This is how we get stronger. This is how we get better, folks. It's a mere weighted vest. I have a 60 pound vest. Some days we go for a little lighter weight and we work speed. Some days we work raw power in it. However, it's it's been an absolutely priceless tool. The results come exponentially. This is not like just strapping on a one pound dumbbell to your hand, folks. This is a 30 pound vest. This is for warriors out there, folks. Looking to pick up your intensity, pick up the vest and see what I'm talking about. Do not wait to get your intensity from the class at this point. Now it's up to you folks to dig deep. Pick up the tools and take your game and elevate it to the next level. It's 2013. I'll see you soon at CKO Trainer. Fantastic work, guys. All right. All right, folks, welcome back. Time to start working it out. First things first, the weir weighted vest, securely strapped on, two layers underneath it, one for absorption because you will sweat during this workout, especially if you're challenging yourself with pace. The other thing is, you wanna try to put on some type of thermal, a long sleeve. It'll help if there's any rubbing going on with the vest. It'll take that friction away, allows you to stay focused on the actual drill that you're doing, not on your equipment, not on your tools. So let's get it started up. First round is gonna be 10, 10, 10. We're gonna start with the first 10 pull-ups or chin-ups, that's optional. I'm gonna go with a very traditional pull-up. So palms down, lifts up. A full rep is when the chin hits that bar on the way up. We're gonna go full all the way down for a full lockout and then we're pulling all the way back up. No momentum flow. These are dead weight man pull-ups. We'll get started. First set's complete, we'll take it right down to the ground. 10 push-ups. I try to keep those hands right in on the torso here, folks. And we're gonna keep them right between the lower chest, upper abdomen. We'll take it right down to the ground. First set of 10, 10, nine, eight, three, two, one. Quick transition right onto your butt. And we'll take it right into those quick plyo push-ups. So lengthen that body up. You got the vest here, and we're gonna pop it nice and quick. Up to the top, tap the ground. Set of 10. Your first round's now complete. Now, few things you can do to modify this workout. Based on your physical level of activity currently, start the workout without the vest. This is your most basic workout of the week. It starts your week, it sets the tone. If you're looking for the upper body, this is gonna hit it on all cylinders. Core, when you're ready, start adding a little weight. 10 pound vest, 20 pounds in the vest, 30 pounds in the vest, and keep on challenging your body. Now, females, follow me, I'm gonna meet you at the Smith machine in two seconds. All right, ladies, welcome back. I wanted to add this addendum, especially for you all. A lot of you have approached me about doing pull-ups, about working on the upper body strength. I wanted to show you what you can do with the Smith machine right upstairs in the gym that will absolutely um, add that one missing phase to maybe what you're, what you're lacking. It'll work on the back muscles, bicep muscles. You work on the overall core. It's called an inverted row. We're gonna go from the most beginner, which is just a hold, and we're gonna take that right to the advanced, which is gonna be a straight leg. 
dead leg, dead weight inverted row. We're gonna go on to the Smith machine. Very adjustable, very easy to use. Do not be intimidated by this machine. They're actually, actually very welcoming. And uh, again, at the end of the day, we just wanna add little facets to your game of training in order for you to improve that overall body that you desire. So we'll take it down to the ground, nice and simple. We're gonna adjust the bar to where we can grab it from the ground while we're sitting. And the first thing we're gonna do for the most beginner is going to be working a hold. So you're gonna work small sets of holds. You can work five to 10 second holds based on your level of fitness. We're gonna make sure that our hips are coming up when our shoulders explode up. We're gonna plant the heels on the floor. And once those hips are up, we can start rowing it out and working the hold. So we're gonna go up to the top and we're gonna work five second holds, five quick sets. It'll look just like this. We're gonna come up, hips are up nice and high. Five, four, three, two, one. And there's one. We'll come up again, exhale and pull. Hips up, five, four, three, two, one. All the way back down, exhale, explode the hips back up with the hands. Five, four, three, two, one. Two more to go, nice and simple. Up, five, four, three, two, one. Back down, and the last five count, nice and easy. Explode up, five, four, three, two and one. We'll come down, we'll take a quick rest. That'll be your first set. And that'll start the phase of you getting, norm, uh, getting accustomed to gripping a bar, to strengthening up that forearm, maybe the wrist just a little bit as well. And we're gonna work again, back, core, and grip, especially the bicep. You'll see your biceps start to explode when you start to row. So part two, for the person that might be a little more advanced and can row already, we'll just work a set of five rows at a time or 10 based on your level of fitness. Again, palms up. We're just a little wider than shoulders. Feet are on the ground. We're gonna pop those hips up, explode everything up, and up for five, four, three, two, and one. And again, based on your level of fitness, you can do sets of five, sets of 10. Watch the quality of your repetitions. The minute it starts to break down, Take a small rest, come back on, and finish the set with good quality repetitions. For you advanced folks out there, people who maybe are just a little naturally stronger on the upper body, we're gonna straighten the leg out. Again, we're just a little wider than shoulder width apart. And again, we're gonna make sure that we bring those hips up all the way. If your hips are not shooting up on this, take it back to the last part and continue working the row with your feet on the ground until it is absolutely becoming like butter. Last phase, last five here, feet are straight, Hips are up, and we're gonna row out five, four, three, two, and one. And that'll be for you adventers, advanced trainers, your advanced clients in here that are looking for that next little edge. We do a lot of pushing in class, on the bag, a lot of resistance. Let's start to complement those workouts just a little bit. You can use these rows, females, as a substitute for my Monday workout. 10 rows, 10 push-ups, 10 plyo quick push uh, sit-ups, and you'll work the midsection. You go 10 rounds, take a minute break in between, and watch your upper body advance slowly. Females, just a quick FYI, they make weighted vests for you too. Start with a five pound, 10 pound vest. Easily, easily a quick way for you all to do exactly what you know how to do, but also start to pick up the pace and change your workout. Do not let yourself get bored. This is the time, folks. You have tools, weighted vests, trainers, and of course, ckotrainer.com. I'll see you all real soon. Have a fantastic day.